Hi, I'm Sarah Swan and I create videos to help people learn self-love and self-worth through the eyes of trauma using the creative arts. Today's video is about tips, nine tips, how to gain your own happiness. So um, before I continue, I do want to say I am working on trying to make these videos more regular, but I've been going through a lot of changes in my life, so it's um, really hard for me to do it. But my goal is to eventually have one to two videos a week. I'm also trying to change the direction of these videos. I would like to do, um, I actually have a recording of me rollerblading and what I gained out of it and how I'm using it to heal. So um, eventually I would like to do videos that not only have like tips, but also show you how to use the creative arts into your healing process, how to use your experiences. So today's video, as I said, is about tips to how to gain your happiness. So I have nine tips for you. The first tip is follow your passions. As you can see, I'm in nature. For me, I love nature. I love being in the forest. I love hiking. I love rock climbing. I love canoeing. Um, I love also being in the city. I, I will sit there at a coffee shop and just work on something and I love it. Um, but not just that for me, my passions are creative arts. So rollerblading for me has been a passion. Tennis, um, and I'm including sports in that. Art, actual painting, poetry, writing, music, dance, singing. Um, those are my passions. And by following my passions, I have been helping myself gain happiness. And so whatever your passion is, you too can follow your passion and that will also help you gain happiness. Number two, be in your body. So I'm learning how to be in my body. One of the issues that I have is my mind prevents me from being happy. Like I go into these spirals that cause me negative thoughts and negative emotions and that makes me depressed and sad or anxious. And I've learned if I can stop that process, then I can be happier. And so what I've been doing is being in my body. So I've signed up, I'm gonna to try to sign up for dance classes. I just bought a tennis racket. Um, I've been rollerblading. Like one day I was feeling so sad and so depressed. I was like, okay, well I don't wanna feel this way. And it's the same issues for me coming up over and over and over again. And I'm like, okay, I have to train my mind how not to do that. And so I went rollerblading. So be in your body, do things that prevent you to think about whatever is causing you the issue and I'm not saying to avoid that issue and ignore it because yes it needs to come up to heal but at the same time I'm saying that if it's something that's repeating that you've been over over and over again it's time to start changing your mind and how your mind works with it so and then number three number three is connect more with others so and also connect with yourself I isolated myself for the longest time. I was in my little shame bubble and I felt horrible, but then I found a YouTuber called Douglas Birch. He is so awesome, by the way, if you're depressed, go to his, his uh, YouTube channel, it's awesome. Um, and he's like, you need a support circle. And I got that in my little head in last December and I started gaining a support circle. And now I'm making friends and I'm happier than ever. I am discovering that I'm more of a, uh, extrovert that I even knew and I love being social um, and it gains me happiness. Um, so if that works for you, you can do that as well. But you can also connect with the South. So, and I would suggest doing both. Um, but also like whatever, if you're, in, if you're introvert, if you're extrovert, do what feels right. But if you're, so connecting with the South for me was um, honoring my emotions, like literally stopping and saying, how do I feel? I'm on a rock right now and it's in the middle of the stream, but, um, and I just sat down, so. Um, honor how you feel, honor those thoughts, and the more you do it, the more you'll feel more secure with yourself and you'll feel more happy, you'll feel more connected. And as you feel connected, you'll actually feel a lot better. Um, so honor your emotions. Also self-approval, self-validation. Um, instead of asking everyone how they would do it, like, ask yourself, how would I do it? What's right for me? Like I have a friend who wants to go to another country and I totally want to go, but I realized that that's his dream, not mine. And I have to do what's good for me. And so I asked myself this morning, what's good for me? What would I do? What's my dream? What would help my dream succeed? And so you have to honor yourself. 
and um, yeah so you have to connect with yourself and you can do it number four find joy in the little things so as you can see I'm in the forest and I find joy over running water I sometimes watch the bugs I'm really afraid of bugs but I will watch the bugs and I will see what they're doing <laughs> and or I'll watch animals um, I also found joy um, in my GPS thing the other day like I changed the icon from an arrow to a car and I got so excited like just find joy in the little things in life um, if you see something on the road or you see just anything or a child having fun just find joy in the little things and by finding the joy they add up all the little things they add up and eventually become more happy and I, I'm not again I'm not saying that I'm completely all happy but I'm definitely getting there and it's these things that are helping number five celebrate your success and your achievements so I have trouble with that um, I I realized the other day I'm like I have so many successes and achievements but I'm just like I did and I'm looking at like the negative stuff I'm like oh I'm not doing this I'm not doing that I'm not doing that I, I won't ever be able to succeed and da 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 and and I realized I had to make a list and I made a list of some of my successes and achievements and I'm like holy I like I did a lot of stuff um, in the last like <laughs> like the last two months example I basically was homeless and I I um, left my job and I didn't know where I was going I, there's a bug crawling on my, my shirt but I um I realized that I'm heavily resilient and I also realized in the past like I had straight A's and I thought I was a failure and um, I had straight A's you know so that's an achievement and so I was seeing all these signs in my environment because we do manifest our environment um, and I was seeing all these signs in yards about like, congratulations, you graduated, because you know, it's the end of the school year. And I was just like, oh, well, we have to celebrate our successes. So I definitely recommend doing that. So make a list and celebrate them and um, be proud of them. It's okay to be proud. It's okay to be proud. Um, number six, your parents. Um, take pride in it. Um, not in the, if, if, if that doesn't work for you, um, just honor your body. Realize it's a vessel and your body needs soothing. And sometimes it might be in the form of a massage. It might be, for me, the other day I put on makeup and I did my hair. I straightened it and I did my nails the other day. And I, I didn't realize that you could actually fall in love with yourself. and. You could be like, oh my goodness, this makes me so happy because I'm doing this to myself. I'm pampering my body. And by doing that, it made me like the self-confidence and my happiness level just rose through the roof. Like I took pictures, if you saw my Facebook page, I took pictures um, of me right after. And it just, I just felt so happy. And um, so you can do something like that. You can look at your, and I'm not saying do it from a place of lack. I'm saying do it from a place of love. I'm not saying do it from a place of um, external validation. I'm saying you do it from internal validation. There's a difference. Yes, the actions are the same, but the reason behind it is what, what that's the key. That's the key to it. Um, number seven, gratitude. So I started keeping um, a gratitude journal. I have something called the five minute journal. I do that every day and um, it has gratitude and so I write down what I'm grateful for every day. I also have something called the happiness journal. I never actually read the book but I'm using the journal and every day I write down what happened during the day. Sometimes it's negative, sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's sad, sometimes basically I'm just accepting whatever happened um, but I'm also being gra grateful for it even if it's something I didn't like like today my car um, and it had a nail in it and it freaked me out because I didn't know what the hell was wrong. Um, and um, even though that experience was very, it was a little traumatic for me for a half an hour, I took gratitude in it and I realized, you know, the value in it. So take gratitude for stuff, even if it's stuff you didn't want um, or something that made you sad or angry or whatever. Take 
gratitude in it. Um, realize the universe is working with you, for you, not against you, even if it's something you absolutely hate, because it's always for our growth. We're always trying to grow. That's our key. The universe wants to expand. We want to expand. Um, number eight, feel your negative emotions. <laughs> I know this is hard for most people. Um, feel that sadness. Feel that pain from childhood. And I tell you, as you feel it, you literally start transforming it. You become your own alchemist. Um, and I think this goes along with what I just said under the gratitude one. Um, it's like taking those challenges and taking that pain and you're transforming it. And as you transform it, you, um, you eventually replace it with something more happy and all of a sudden you're like becoming your light body you're becoming who you're meant to be you're becoming your authentic self and you're gaining happiness because happiness is our right of being abundance is our right of being we're meant to be abundant not to be like covered in pain and covered in mud as i call it or costumes um take off those costumes so um feel those emotions and as you feel it i know it's hard you let go of them. You don't stay in that place. You don't want to stay stuck. You let go of it, you feel it, you let it go through your energy body, and you let go of it. And as you do, I guarantee you will start feeling better and you start gaining a better mindset, and all of a sudden, you're becoming happier. Um, and you can do this through journals or whatever works for you. Um, number nine, and this ties in all the other ones. So reframe your mind or your brain um, for me lately I have experience and I'll be in my old body like so to speak I'll be in my old I, I had a false self I feel I had a false self and I'll be in my ego body or so to speak and I will feel a certain way but then it'll happen again and all of a sudden I have these new thoughts coming in and that actually brings me to tie in with this idea of self-compassion and connecting with your higher self but um I will use that self-compassion, that mothering aspect of myself, my higher self, and I will reframe my brain. I will reframe my thought process. Because remember, we're changing our programs. We're changing the faulty programs um, to being something that works for us, that allows us to be happier. And um, so basically, you want to stop it. And you want to replace those thoughts, whatever's happening in your mind or whatever, and you replace it and you replace it with something better, more compassionate, something that allows you to get where you want to go, something that brings you pleasure. We don't want to be fear-based. We want to be pleasure-based. Um, and at least that's my point of view. You don't have to agree with it, and I'm okay with that. Um, but um, yeah, and, and to do that, to stop and instruct, do any of the other eight that I just suggested, like being in body, follow your passions, because it allows you to stop your mind and then as you stop your mind, you calm down, you relax, and then you're able to do exactly what you would like to do. And um, yeah, so those are the nine ways to gain your happiness, like tips to gain your happiness. I hope this video has helped. If it's helped, please subscribe. And um, I do have a website. One of these days I will actually work on it and fix it up a little bit, or maybe it's fine the way it is. And I'm just being too hard on myself. I mean, I guess that would be a bonus one. Um, nudge the judge, as Lisa Romano would say. But um, you, and she's a really good person to go to on YouTube as well. But um, yeah, you know, that inner critic, when it comes out, you want to nudge the judge. Um, so anyway, I hope you have had a great day. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you like it. Please share if you like it, if, if you find value in it and um, you think other people will. If you have any suggestions about where to go with these videos, let me know because I want to make these videos for you as well. Um, I want to share my experiences with you so it can help you rise because my goal is to help people rise as I rise. And um, as I say, be your own lighthouse. So thank you.